Hey there everybody, how's it going? It's Agent Nemitz. Welcome back today to another tutorial video. I'm gonna be showing you how to throw an alley-oop. The most fun thing to do in NBA 2K23 next gen, or well, just in NBA 2K in general. Not just next gen, not just 2K23. In any 2K, it's so much fun to be throwing lobs out here. Now, I want to precursor this. Make sure you know who you're throwing lobs to. If you're trying to throw lobs to Chris Paul, he ain't going to be catching those. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Don't be throwing lobs to Chris Paul, all right? But if you're throwing lobs to LeBron James, that's going to be fun. You're throwing lobs to Anthony Davis, that's going to be fun. That's just examples on this team. But John Collins, uh, there's lots of people who you can be throwing lobs to in this. Any, basically, anyone who's a center... It's going to be a good idea to throw throw some lobs to them. Um, honestly, even people like John Morant, you could probably throw a lob to John Morant. DeJounte Murray might be someone who might be good to throw a lob to, just because they're so athletic. Athletic people and big, giant, tall people are are good good ideas to throw lobs to. Okay? All right. I'm not going to be going through the full list of people who are good to throw lobs to. But if you haven't already seen my pick and roll tutorial, you're definitely going to want to see that before doing this because I feel like that's the easiest way to... Ooh, I messed that one up. That's the easiest way to to get into a lob situation. There are certain plays that are nice and easy for setting up uh, lob situations as well. So, you know, maybe check check out how to run, my, how to run plays, the video I made, because that might work for you as well. Um, but generally speaking, generally speaking, uh, you... Running pick and roll is easy, easiest way. So I, I call for a pick and roll, and then I double tap Y. And if you're the one, if you're playing in play now or my team mode, you're gonna be you're gonna be controlling the lob throwing and the lob finishing, like you saw on my screen. Um, you're gonna, it's just, it's that simple. So you're gonna have to double tap Y to throw the lob to someone, to anybody, but. The pick and roll makes it easiest because then you got them rolling with you. And what I do is I point the stick towards them and I double tap Y. Just like that. That's how I do it. That's how I throw lobs. And so if I'm calling for a pick and roll, you know, I'm holding left bumper button, going through the screen, they roll the basket. I point the stick towards them and double tap Y when I want to throw it. And then if you're having to control the dunk as well, you are going to want to uh, hold the X button when the meter gets close to that line. It's just it's just like a shot meter, but it's a circle, and you want to push the X button when it gets as close to that line as possible. And then those are that'll be your best odds to get a dunk successfully, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense for you. And then I'm gonna. You can even call for a pick and roll when you are. You don't have to be the, the lobby. You can be the person calling for the lob. So I'll go ahead and try and show that after they're done going through all this stupid free throw action here. But it, I'm going to explain it before I get to it. Is I'll probably use like LeBron James. And I'll like start in the corner. And I will just sprint right to the basket, holding right trigger down. And then I will double tap Y while I'm facing towards the basket, running towards it. And they should throw me a lob. And then you have to finish it the same way with that X circle. That'll show up for you if you're calling for a lob. And you, again, you'll want to time it to get the meter as close to that uh, that spot as you can. So I'm going to get this. I'll pass to... Oh, I won't. Hold on. I'll have to player lock in order to do this. Give me a second. All right, believe it or not, they have LeBron James at center. So that, that seems wild to me. So if you, I'm player locked on LeBron right now. So if anybody else touches the ball, I won't switch them. But if I want to call for a, a lob. So there we go. I called for the lob and I had to time it. You see the little, there's a meter and there's a line on the meter in a green zone. And then you see the meter start ticking and you have to push that X button as close to that meter as possible. So I passed the ball to Dennis Schroeder, and then I started cutting towards the basket, called for a lob by the same way as throwing a lob, double tapping the Y button, and they gave me, they threw a lob to me. I'm gonna try and do it again here. Let's let's give the ball to Dennis Schroeder, cut to the basket, 
Nope. Hold on. Alright, let's try again. Here we go. Oh, nope. He just passed to me. I don't want that. So, cut. Here we go. Hey! So, I cut. I passed it to Schroeder. I ran towards the basket, double tapped Y, and he threw me a lob, and I slammed it down over top of whoever was there. So, just like throwing lobs, calling for lobs is the same. You, you double tap Y. You, if you're calling for the lob, you run towards the basket and double tap Y. If you're throwing the lob, you point it towards the person and double tap Y. And so, it's the same... It's the same either way. I mean, we've had a lot of lobs this game, so there were some great assists that game. But, but yeah, so I hope that that makes sense to all of you. Throwing lobs, catching lobs. Oh, he just missed a golden opportunity. But he green released. So, uh, yeah, I hope the, the lob mechanics make sense to you, and I, and I made them easy to understand. If they didn't, leave a comment down below. I will try and answer them and fix my error and bad explaining the best I can. Um, and then I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you are new or enjoyed. I really would appreciate it. Got more tutorials, more 2K, my career content. Lots of 2K stuff in general coming out. So you're going to want to be subscribed to see all of it. It's, it's some pretty good stuff. And, uh, and I'll see you all in the next video. So take care, everybody. Have a great day. And goodbye.